What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion about Revit Structure 2024. Okay, so in this lesson, this will gonna be a very short lesson. Okay, so we are going to learn how to create curved grid on our level 2 plan view. Okay, for our structural design uh, project. So the curved grid that we are going to create will provide a snap point for placement of the curved beam that we are going to create later on on our exercise so we will use the art tool to draw the the grid okay so let's do this so by the way so this is now how it looks like so our model looks like this so far okay so let us now go to our zero to floor and then let's create our curve grid so from the structure tab datum panel i'm going to select the grid here or you can also type GR. So click that. And then after that, on the draw panel, you can see you have several options here. So you have line, uh, arc, center ends arc, and then peak lines. So like what I have said earlier, we are going to use arc tool. Specifically, start and radius. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, and then I need to specify the radius here. So I'm going to select the radius here. So just tick this and then I'm gonna use 32 feet all right so I'll be using 1 fourth inch uh, bubble grid type okay and then we are going to create it here so to start just make sure this is selected start and radius so I'm going to click the intersection of my B.1 and 0.5 grid this one first point and then after that I'm going to click the second point which is my D.1 and 0.5 intersection grid. So I'm going to select that. Okay, and then I'm going to move my pointer here. As you can see, that's the 32 feet radius. So I'm going to click here to place my grid. That's it. Very simple. So that's how you create your curve grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select now the modify and then I'll just edit the grid here. So I'm going to select that. And then you see the start end point there. So I'm going to drag that and then put it something like that. And then after that, same with this one. Okay, so that's it for our uh, curve grid here. So I'm going to click this grid. And then after that, let us change the name here. So instead of 0.76, I'm just going to click that. And then I'll just call it 0.25 grid. And then I'll just click outside. All right, and then click outside to deselect. So that's it. So we will be using this curve grid because it will provide the snap point for the placement of the curve beam that we are going to create on our next exercise. All right, so that's it for this short video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.